Tycho. Konnichiwa, Watashiwa, Kalani des. Arashimase. Welcome, I'm Kalani. Welcome to World Drum Club. We're looking at uh, and listening to taiko drums, right? Wrong! <laughs> because. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I was doing. I'm just having fun with you. But that video, the one you were watching at the beginning, uh, is of the Japanese taiko group Kodo, and I'll leave a link to that video below. You've probably seen it if you're into drumming. Um, but I, I was actually talking to my wife this morning, who is from Japan, from Osaka, by the way, and um, we were. I was commenting on this. This is a uh, well. It's a drum right now. But why does it sound so amazing? Um, I'll tell you why. Well, two reasons. One is I'm using this little rubber, let me show you again. I'm using this little rubber uh, food saver lid, right? So this is, this is a, a, a set of, or one of a set of lids that my wife bought and we're not really happy with it because they're kind of hard to use. And um, they're just weird. They're very sticky, rubbery food saver lid. Um, however, if you can stretch it over a little bowl, uh, and there are some instructions online on how you can make a balloon drum. You can also use a balloon. We're just using this today. Uh, you stretch it over that, and now if you mic it, the thing is you have to get a mic and you have to stick it right in there, super close. And then you end up with And that's pretty exciting. Um, you can also, look at this, you guys, you can also pinch it, right? Let me get closer. But look, listen, to, if I move a little away, right, we lose all that bass. So the bass is coming from the fact that I'm really close to this. So, that's just a little cheat. If you, if you wanted to record some, uh, some music for yourself and you wanted to emulate some large drums, you can actually do it with a very tiny drum. Uh, so I recorded all of these parts. Here they are again. It's all this. And uh, I could add some other Koto like sounds, like for example, let me do this one. Okay, what do you guys think? Um, oh, let me turn this reverb off. And by the way, I have another challenge for you. Uh, if any of you can identify this piece of classic flatware, not flatware, uh, whatever you call it, it's a bowl, dish, a dish set. If any of you can identify this, you, get, you win points. I'll give you 10 points if you can identify this classic uh, Tableware, I don't know what they call it. What do you call it? 
bowls and plates and stuff. Okay, so um, that's really what I have for you in this video. I want to thank you all for being um, good sports. I also want to acknowledge Asano Taiko, um, where I was in Japan and I visit, visited the Asano, Asano Taiko uh, factory and uh, they gave me this shirt, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I'm going to go back to relaxing with my, uh, with my, <laughs> my giant miniature Odaiko drum. Maybe I'll do some more recording. Um, have fun with that, you guys. Try it out. Uh, but you need a mic. This is a dynamic mic. You could use any kind of drum mic, like a snare mic or uh, something you would use for tom-toms or something like that. And um, you can do your own little fake Taiko <laughs> ensemble. All right, I'll see you all in another video. Let me know what you think. If you have any uh, other music that you've done like this, you can link it below. Or um, if you have any other comments to add that are kind and helpful, we welcome those. If you'd like to study with me or you have questions for me, go to patreon.com and connect with me over there. Thanks for watching.